this right here is the best broccoli you will ever have in your life, or at least the internet thinks so. So this recipe originally came from Ina Garten of the Barefoot Contessa and all of her wonderful cookbooks, but it became the internet's favorite broccoli recipe when the amateur gourmet, AKA Adam Roberts, wrote about this on his blog in 2008. So the first thing you gotta do roasting broccoli is just break down a whole mess of broccoli into florets. I have a pretty fastidious way that I like to break down broccoli because if you just kind of just go at it and chop it, you end up shearing off a lot of these little floretti pieces and leaving them behind and I just feel bad for the broccoli. When I have a big chunk like this, every time you just slash through it, you're cutting off part of the broccoli and losing it. So what I like to do is just like start to cut it down and then just pull it off and you don't lose all that extra stuff. The way I found out about this recipe was a Food 52 community member sent it to me somewhere around 2012. So I started to kind of dig into it and see what was it that made the internet go so crazy for this recipe? Why is this the number one Google result when you look for broccoli recipe? I realized when Adam Roberts wrote about this, we hadn't discovered how much roasting things at high heat can really transform them. I mean, people at the time were saying like, this tastes better than steak, this tastes better than french fries. At this point, I think probably a lot of us have discovered that roasting vegetables is not just a super easy way to cook them quickly and, and well, but it makes them incredibly delicious because you're cooking it in the super hot air in the oven, you've got a little coating of oil and salt, and all of the you know exposed surfaces just crisp up in that hot air, almost like a french fry or like a seared steak, they get that browning on the outside, that Maillard reaction that makes things taste more delicious. If I had not done my fussy trick, I would have had a lot more broccoli debris here that I lost. This is, this is pretty minimal. And I'm gonna say it's probably from when I showed you the way I don't do it, that it all gathered here. But now you have all these stems. I like to eat the stems. And the way that I do that is I just cut off the very end that's kind of dried out and then just cut off all four sides as close to the skin as I can. If you out there have a better way to peel broccoli, I would love to hear. I've just never discovered a way I like better. And then I just kind of like cut it into these little bite-size-ish planks. That's maybe my favorite part of the broccoli. Also, don't let these guys go to waste. <laughs> the, any of these nice leaves that are stuck on, those are good stuff, put those in too. Broccoli's done. Okay. Oh, nope, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Now it's done. If you've ever roasted anything, you know this is not how you roast things. You can't have them all piled up like this or they will just steam and they won't. Get in contact with the pan, get crispy. Air won't be able to reach in and crisp up all the nice oiled bits. This is how we get in roasting ruts. We bring home whatever vegetable, break it down, do the olive oil, salt and pepper thing. And that's where this recipe, I think, really gets its genius stripes because you take it to an even more delicious place with a really easy combination of seasonings. They start with adding sliced garlic here. And then for this part, I just like to use my hands because I like to feel that there's oil coating everything decently. And you know what? I am feeling like this is a little dry. I want more oil. And that's what you can tell when you use your hands. So I'm just gonna add a little more. Okay, no longer dry. These can go in a very hot oven for not very long. So this is the part where this recipe goes from pretty standard, good, very good roasted broccoli recipe to genius. This is going to taste like it came out of a restaurant kitchen. It's going to taste very fancy, but you're not gonna have to do a lot to achieve that. So these would be very tasty just as is, but Ina Garten's recipe notches them up to best broccoli of your life territory. And I love that she has you just dump everything right on the pans and toss it around. Now we toss. I can see right now 
There's a broccoli leaf that looks like a potato chip and I'm gonna eat that first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never throw away a broccoli leaf, especially when you get to do this to it. I'm trying with a fork so I can get all of the good bits, Parmesan, pine nuts, basil, all the things that have kind of like scattered about the pan. Mm -hmm. The roasted broccoli is doing exactly what you want broccoli to do when it roasts. The florets have gotten super crispy at the edges. The stems have gotten really sweet. And so that alone would be a perfect roasted broccoli. But then all these other things are just giving it so much life. In 2008, I can see why that was like a new French fry. Even now, in 2019 though, I would take that over French fries most of the time. For more Genius recipes like this, both the greatest hits of all time and new ones every week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check back next week. And you know what? Send me your tips, please. I'm always looking for my next Genius recipe.